Hey guys, welcome back. This is Twisted Princess. We are here with part 23 of our Life is Feudal series. Um, we are going to go over silk and stuff like that. You want to make sure that you find mulberry trees. Mulberry trees are very important. They have silkworm. Unfortunately, I, er, yeah, silk, silkworm? So, hold on, let's make sure. Yep, silkworm cocoons. I have already went through and gathered as much of the stuff as I can off of them, but you would go down to gathering silkworm cocoons. And you want to make sure that you get sprouts off of as many trees as possible to plant as many as possible. Otherwise, um, you wind up with very little silk. Running around and finding them throughout the forest also does work. We're going to see if we can go ahead and plant one more over here while we are here. What is that? Wait. There's another silkworm tree in front of me. I don't... I think it's fibbing to me. I think I've already gotten whatever tree we are now trying to get. So, yeah, there's nothing left to gather. All right, we're going to try to put one right here. Uh, it would be under farming to be able to plant them. Is going to try to show you... Oh, yeah, we can do it right here. See? Plant mulberry tree. Then it will grow and give you silkworm. Just like how the apple trees, you get them, you grow them, you get apples. But the silk is used in crafting, oh good God, a lot of different things. Um, the flax is also needed in crafting um, rope or linen. This is all the flax. It is, oh, it is ready to be harvested. Go ahead and grab a little bit. We'll leave the rest for later. Um, I already have plenty of other flax and leather that we're going to have to put into the tanning tubs as we run around and gather everything out of them. I do not remember if I left leather in here. I think I did. I, I did. We've got hides. That is what we're going to take. We're going to take five of these. Or not. Nope. We've already got... Has that one been dried? No, that has not. Alright, we already have some on us. I already grabbed those. We're going to go through drying frames. You want to dry your hide. This is the first step in making your leather. You get them on the drying racks. They stay, depending on the server, for about an hour um, or longer. Some servers have it set up to 24 hours. Mine, unfortunately, um, is not, or else I would not be able to get anything done. Um, but you go through, you fill these with hides to dry. Once they are dry, you put them into the tanning tubs with three waters. Then you give them however long it takes on your server. Again, mine is an hour. And it will turn into leather. You go through and you grab the leather out of the buckets. Once you take the flax from the um, farm, you will throw it into the tanning tubs as well to turn it into flax fibers, which then you turn into hanks of linen. We will go ahead, what, do, what all do we have on us to throw in here? We only have 10 of those. Let's see what else we have over here. Since we're going to clean out everything, this is, oh, there's flax fibers. We're going to take those and turn those into actual rolls and then we'll turn it into linen. We're going to see what all we can't make clothing wise, backpack wise, with what all we already have over here. There's the rest of it. We need you. This is all of our dry. These ones can go in to be dried. We only have six water, though. We're going to need more water. Um, we'll throw all of our wool in a pile. Um, close you, please. Thank you. Let's see what else we have in this barrel. Are those dried? Those are dried, but we already have plenty. So we're going to grab some more water. Since I only have six and we have... Five of those, we're going to need 15, three each. So we'll grab that. Yes, I'm overburdened. It's fine. We're going to go trade things out and start crafting things. Hopefully it'll let us get enough water. If not, we'll just roll with what we have. I'm going to have to put these down or else we're not going to be able to grab anything else out. Other than the waters. 14, there's 15. All right. Close you. 
Ah, uh, we gotta put... Sorry, we gotta put this stuff up. Is there room? It won't let me. There's not enough room. Crud, what about you? Open. You have room, right? Ooh, yeah, you have lots of room. Okay, you hold that for me for now. We'll grab those back out when we get to crafting. We are going to pull everything out of the tanning tubs that we already have. That one had flux, flux, flax. Good God, use tanning tub. Let's put flax back in. It really doesn't matter what you put in what tub. It will take either or. And unfortunately, it takes quite a while to get things in and out, get things dried, and put that in there with its three water. See, we're down to 12 now. We were at 15. But we'll get some more leather going, we'll get some more flax fibers going, and then while those go, we will work on turning things into cloth, rope, clothing, whatever we can figure out how to craft exactly. I don't know exactly what all takes how many pieces of cloth or leather, but it will be explained in our handy dandy weaver's kit as we go. Those you have to make at the blacksmith or the yeah the blacksmith shop or the kiln or, yeah no not the kiln anvil forge and anvil. My mind's going too fast again. Too much that I want to tell everybody and I just can't sort it all out. Okay, so we'll finish this. I could have gathered some of this beforehand. Sorry, I did not think of it. I was excited to actually get this one started. I get to get my guy dressed. He's been running around naked for a very long time. I got a hairy, ugly back, too, and I, I'm tired of looking at it. Okay, so I've got a few more of these to empty out. Lucky enough, yes, yes, keep going faster and faster. Yay! There's tanning tub, let's put that one in there. I'll forget where I was. I don't think you can overdo things in the tanning tub, though. It's not like the animals, like if you leave them too long, or the farms, if you leave them too long, how they will die or um, starve to death or whatever. Um, this stuff will stay in there as long as you leave it in there and you will get whatever you put in back. Okay, so we still have time on the last ones. First thing we are going to do is go to the spinning wheel. Spinning wheel, make hanks of linen. Then we will decide what all we are turning into rope, if anything, and what all we are turning into actual linen. We should have, we do have wool. We should have enough to make at least one hank of, a hank of wool while we are here. We will go through how to do the silk as well. I should have enough silk in there to just extract some of this, turn it into the um, silk threads and be able to carry on with everything. Okay, so this would be, that's the hank of linen, okay, we're going to, while we are sitting here, hank of wool, you need 10 of each, or 10 pieces of the actual wool pack to make each hank of wool, and then I want to say it's like 25 of each item to be able to make a piece of linen with it. We'll go over there here in a second and check that out. So the silk that you get, you have to extract silk fragments from those before you can even make them into a hank of silk. This is a very, very, very long process. 
because you have to extract one little piece at a time. It's not like the fl flax or the wool, how you get like five of them per thing to, or ten of them each time. Um, it's only a one at, one at a time process. I don't remember how many you have to have to use the spinning wheel. Silk thread, five. Five will make you one silk thread. Perfect. So we can go through and we're going to exchange things now so that we can pull out all of the actual threads and things that we have over here. Um, we already have some linen. I'm gonna take that out and put, can't place that there, of course. Put up as much of this stuff that we're not going to use anymore as we can. Um, I will finish up those later. We're going to put up the rest of our cocoons and the rest of our wool. Throw the, that in there. It's not really supposed to be here, but it can sit until we are done with this. Alright, now we are going to gather all of that. Oh, we are about overburdened. Okay, so we're going to split this in half, roughly. For that. Of course. I'm now going to be stuck with way too much stuff on me. You know what? Let's drop it. We can pick it back up off the ground. We're not going to be here that. It should not disappear. Plus, I keep finding random bags that I thought we're going to disappear forever ago that never disappeared. Alright, that is a ton of that. We don't need that much. We'll take the 35, put this back. See, I have 90 more of those. I've actually been very busy getting all of this together. And we'll take this pile. And we will take these. Alright, the leather we will need here in a bit. We're going to use the loom. Linen cloth. You need 25 of the hanks of linen. So, when you have 25 of those, they equal one linen cloth. That is why I have been going crazy over how much flax that I need. And, of course, all of the other stuff. The wool you want sheep to get, in case, you know, you didn't know that. Um, most of it seems pretty common sense. The mulberry trees throw me for a loop because I didn't realize um, that you got soap from a mulberry tree, but apparently you can. Alright, so we are now going to... Oh, no, 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 do not lift object. Open object, please. Thank you. We are going to go ahead and put the silk up. I don't think we can really use the silk for anything yet. Um, well, anything clothing-wise yet in my list. I'm not sure if... We'll go look. Tailoring. We've got the rags, which is what you start with. Um, the regular padded breastplate. You need hanks of wool. We have some of those. We have four here. I'm sure that we have more elsewhere. Simple male clothes. That needs leather. Um, all of this stuff needs a lot of different things. So we will, we're going to go ahead and make simple male clothes to start with so that we can get our naked guy wearing something. Alright, now, where did it go? Uh, I'm confused. So, Simple male clothes. Craft. And this apparently takes a very long time to craft as well. I do have a wardrobe placed inside the house from one of the earlier episodes. And I am going to end up putting whatever clothing that we don't need in the wardrobe. So we are now, holy hit, we are now dressed, and we actually have full pants. Okay, 
we are going to go back in to our sewing thing. I want to see, there are, I do want one of those. Oh, I want shoes. I want shoes. Wait, I can have shoes? Okay, we need some more. Open. Please tell me we have. Uh-oh. These? Just need a little bit of the wool. <gasps> oh, I think I just used it all. I'll have to make more. Oh, no, nope, right here, right here. Yes, I can make shoes. Okay, so let's go ahead and where'd they go? Right there. Go ahead and make him a pair of shoes. We'll see if he can actually wear these. I am so excited to have shoes. He's been running around barefoot. He's got to have sore feet by now. We have been in this server forever with no shoes on. Okay. We need a 60 of padded armor. Well then, we'll have to look into how to do that. Are there any regular just plain decorated man's clothes. Oh, those are dressy. Those are expensive. There's a blacksmith outfit. There are all sorts of stuff. I want to know, not about the bag. I want to know. There's a sack. I wonder what the sack's for. Um, I thought, and then the pouch. We've made a pouch. Go ahead and make one of those. I wonder how much that weighs and how much it holds. So easier ways to divide up all the similar things that you have in the same area. You just throw everything in the bag, throw the bag in, whatever, and you have it all divided. Let's see. That holds 50. The pouch holds 10. The sack, well, to do the sack, we have to weave a rope. So let's go ahead and make a linen rope. We can make one of those, and then we'll make the sack and see what all it holds. I don't know if there's a way to place them anywhere other than inside your inventory or inside of a um, crate or whatever. Crate, wardrobe, all of that fun stuff. All right, the sack, and then we can make sacks of potatoes, sacks of onions. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go sack crazy here after a while. My um, my warehouse next to the kitchen is just insane because it is so full of stuff. Open, it can hold a hundred items. Who? yes, okay. So basically, all of the different outfits require different things. It's not just linen that you need. You need a little bit of everything for all of this. Um, we can make one of those, but that doesn't really look that interesting to me. I do want to make the decorative clothes at some point, but I have to get a little bit more of the silk and stuff like that. Oh, and we're going to open. We're going to start putting things back up now. Throw you in there. Can I put my shoes? I can. And throw the leather with the leather. The sack I am keeping. I will be making a lot more sacks. Organizing out my kitchen here soon. That the, or well, next to the kitchen. That has been driving me insane. I did not realize that we could make sacks that held so much. That is amazing. Okay. See, I can make plenty of rope for that, and we've still got plenty of linen, and there's more on the ground. I almost forgot that that was there. Okay. And... Give me that. Alright, so we will go ahead and open that inventory. Oh, wrong chest. That one's the full one. I cannot believe I have been making linen and linen and linen thinking we'll make all these clothes with the linen except you need way more than just the linen. Real quick before we decide to cut this video we're going to let it go a little bit longer. We are going to go over a few things with the um, with the farming 
just to make sure that we get that covered as well. Um, oh, good God. Do I have fertilizer in here anywhere? See, this is my kitchen. This is why I'm saying I need some kind of organization over here. I do not see my fertilizer. Let's check this one. Oh, that one won't have it. It's this one. This should. Should. Keyword here. Should. Yes. Thank you. I have a crap ton of seed. You get more seeds than you do um, linen from each harvest of the fl flax. You get, well, okay, you get exactly four seeds per four stems, but you need ten stems to make any bundles, all of that. All right. You should be ready to roll. Well, it apparently is not, so we're going to go ahead and just go back to the flux farm. We'll show you over there real quick how this works. That'll be good for you guys to know with the flux anyway, um, how all of it works. I have been fertilizing everything. If you do not fertilize the ground, eventually you cannot grow anything on it anymore. It becomes just regular old soil and it's no good for your plants. Let's go ahead and harvest this one too. So basically you harvest everything. You want to plow everything and then as you go through plowing it to plant things unless like it is your first time plowing it you want to go ahead and fertilize. That way your plants grow better and they are of a higher quality than if you don't fertilize. The more that you fertilize the ground, the better that it is. You also don't want to plant if the sun is not up. If it is cloudy or it is foggy, anything like that, those are bad times to plant. Your plants take a very long time and they come out with lower quality than they do if the sun is out and shining. So we're going to go ahead and fertilize all of this right here real quick. Eh, we'll go ahead and plow and fertilize this one, then we'll plant some. Just trying to get everybody a feel for what all you do to get the food and the flax going. Alright. Now after you fertilize and everything, whatever seeds you have that you want to plant, you go into farming. There's this big long list. Flax you have to have a 94. Um, 90 in farming. I already have that covered. So we're just going to go ahead and sow a few of these. You've got little pretty plant tops that pop up. Oh yay, we've got a faster way. Thank you. And that's how you know that you actually have planted something. Anything else that you have on your list, you just go back into your farming, change it to whatever you would like to plant. But that's enough for today. We will catch you next time. Don't forget to sub, follow, like, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all of that fun stuff. Have a great whatever it is, wherever you are.